Hello everybody! We are heading out for Lindy's well child check where we're going to be talking about neurology, talking about um, genetics for her to figure out what's going on. Um, I am running behind schedule so I'll talk to you in a minute. Okay, we're here. We're going into the doctor. Hey, stick with me, little girl. Go to the door. Good job. You ready? Okay, so we just got checked in with the nurse. So she is, how much did you weigh? You were 29 pounds. Lindy, careful. And you were 36 inches tall. You're tall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, tall. And now we're waiting for the doctor. Come back. No doorknob. Come back. Yeah, we'll wait for the doctor. Yeah, she's going to come back. Yeah, you see that? We can't touch. It's not ours. Yes, yeah, the printer. And that's a little picture for the printer. Did the nurse put something in your ear? Was she checking your temperature? Huh? Let me see your shoes. So if you're new here, uh, we suspect Lindy has apraxia. She is going to be evaluated for autism next October. The it's been really hard to get anyone to see her because they're so backed up with patients, so we can't do it till October, which is fine. Uh, everyone tells me it's probably not autism. Uh, there are some similar things to autism, like she does toe walk sometimes, but she's got great eye contact. She comprehends everything. She just can't get words out. You want out? We have to wait for the doctor. She's going to come see you. Now, don't touch the doorknob. No, Lindy, stop. Good girl, come back. Come back. Come back, little one. You're so cute. Um, so we're gonna see, I know, I think we're gonna be referred to neurology and genetics, I think, today. But we'll see what the doctor says. Is that what they put in your ear? Huh? On my finger? Okay. Look, I got a reindeer on my finger and you a reindeer on your shirt. Oh no, it fell down. You gotta get it. <laughs> Put on my finger again. Oh, my thumb. Okay. Is that silly? So I gave her some PBS kids because she was like wanting to click everything on the computer. <gasps> Is that pink delicious? It's just really hard because. You know, there is some similarities of autism, but it's very mild. Like, if she does have it, it would be like, I feel like super low. Because comprehension, she's blows us away. Like, she can already figure out Griffin's tablet. She knows exactly what we're saying. If I say stop, she says stop. She responds to her name. Great eye contact. And the only thing is the toe walking and the lack of speech is the similarities of autism. But... She's trying to talk and she can't get the words out. That's why it's like apraxia, but the toe walking's weird. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, just in it right now, guys. <laughs> it's just hard. <gasps> I'm being listening to Christmas George. Look at her dancing. Look at you go, girl. <laughs> and then I did, it's her 30 month wellness child check. So we did a 30 question questionnaire of like all the things she can and can't do and you know most of it she can do but like anything with speech she couldn't do but she can she knows what i'm talking about she can point to her nose she knows where like all of her body parts are um but she can't verbally say anything to me um so it was hard like i was like i didn't know what to hit because some of it was like can she say ball no but she i forget which one it was that she took the papers with me but like some of it was like does she know what a ball is or can she say ball? Like she knows what a ball is, but she can't say ball. You know what I mean? Um, that's why it's like, I don't know. Uh, definitely, you know, wasn't scoring typical. And we knew that. Uh, but she's, I think she's doing really good. I'm, you know, we're in, we're in a ton of therapy right now and I have a lot of hope that she's gonna be great. Um, Especially when this new device comes in for her. I think it's gonna be amazing. Amazing. Are you watching? Are you flipping the phone around? Oh, it's Daniel. So after I talk to the doctor, I'll update you guys. All right, so Lainey's gonna get a vaccination in a minute. Um, 
We were just singing. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Oh my man. <laughs> Right? If you're happy and you know it, stick your tongue out. If you're happy and you know it, stick your tongue out. Oh, give me that. She's such a stinker. Oh my gosh. If you're happy and you know it, then your face is really shut. If you're happy and you know it, stick your tongue out. Try to lick me. If you're happy and you know it, tickle, tickle. If you're happy and you know it, give a tickle. If you're happy and you know it, then your face is really shut. If you're happy and you know it, give a. Tickle. <laughs> You're so silly. Oh, what, what should we do now? Inside voice. You have no volume control, you know that? You gotta keep the volume down. Okay, can we whisper? Can you go, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Um, my shirt, that's my shirt. Where? You want to sing Rudolph? Yeah. Rudolph the red nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows like a light bulb. All of the other reindeers used to laugh and call him names like Pinocchio. They never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer games like Monopoly. <laughs> then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say ho ho ho. Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then how the reindeers loved him, loved him, and he shouted out with glee. Ah, ah, Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer, you'll go down in history. Hi, George Washington. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, went really well. We have been referred to neurology. We're going to hold off in genetics. Uh, we're going to see what neurology says first, which is fine. It's fine. Um, uh, her percentile and weight and everything was good. I think she was like a 25 percentile and bow. She gained like three pounds in like, I think it was like four months or something or five months, which is good. She was held all in healthy range. BMI looks good. Uh, but like I wanted, so Sawyer, who is five, like if you watched his checkup, she is 30. What is it? So she was 29 pounds. Sawyer is 36 pounds. Um, <coughs> I can't remember the height now. I think Sawyer was 39 inches and she was 36 inches. So you could see how small Sawyer is uh, by just by those numbers. And she is two and a half. It's insane. Sorry, I got a tickle. <coughs> I don't know about you, but those masks make, I don't know, my air tickle more in my, my throat. So I can't say enough how much I love our doctor. She's been so amazing through this whole experience. She just knows our journey and um, she hugged me at the end and it was just so nice. Um, yeah, um, we don't know what's going on with Lindy. We still think it's apraxia. I don't know if it's gonna be autism. I don't know if anything else is going on, but we're gonna work on it and we're gonna figure this out because we have to. Um, I think we're gonna end the vlog here. This was all about Lindy today. I wanted to keep it all about Lindy because I think it's important to share and document this story because it's her story and I want to help people. So thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Don't forget guys, you are wonderful. Oh, and we do think they could be, she could be having some seizures. So that's why we're going to go to neurology as soon as possible. Um, this absent seizures where she's got some really long staring spells that I've been noticing. So we want to get those ruled off as soon as possible. But yeah, so see you later guys. Don't forget you're wonderful. Bye.